How's it everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. I'm Kent and today I'm reviewing a new version of one of the most popular polyester strings on the market. That string is the Solinco Hyper G Round. Let's check it out. So the Hyper G round, as the name suggests, is a round version of the wildly popular Hyper G string. The original Hyper G is, I believe it's a square shaped string. It has a very uh, sharp construction and it's meant to grip the ball to provide amazing levels of spin. A lot of people love the response of the Hyper G and I've actually released a video saying that I don't really love Hyper G. I don't hate it, but it's one of the strings that I don't really agree with with the general public. Um, a lot of people rave about it. I think it's okay. Um, I've tried it in different uh, layups. I tried it in my Pure Strike, which is what I'm actually going to test this in. I tried it in my favorite racket, the Head Graphene 360 Speed uh, Pro uh, 1820. I've tried it at different tensions and I came to the conclusion that I didn't love the original Hyper G. I definitely like Tour Bite and Revolution better, but the Hyper G is one of the most popular strings and so when a new version of it comes out, obviously I'm going to try it out. It has been a few years since I tried Hyper G, so who knows, maybe my opinion will change. This is, as the name suggests, it's just a simple round version of the Hyper G. I'm not sure exactly why Solinco decided to make a round version. Maybe it's to help with the durability. I know because Turbite and Hyper G, they both snap pretty quickly because the sharp edges saw into each other. Or maybe it's to uh, be used in a hybrid so that the mains will, or the crosses, whichever you put it in, won't saw into the other string and it'll improve the durability. But regardless, it's been made with the same formula as original Hyper G and it's meant to get great control and spin. So this Hyper G round comes in four gauges, 130, 125, 120, and 115 millimeters. It comes in the original neon green color and it's about $12.99 a set or about $170 for a whole reel. It's a little bit on the cheaper side. I'm trying out the 125 millimeter Usually I like thinner gauges, but today I'm trying the 125 because I've noticed that usually with round strings, I tend to play better with the 125 millimeter instead of the thinner gauge. And I'm trying it in my Babla Pure Strike 98 Gen 2 at 52 pounds. This is the first racket I ever tried Hyper G in, so I'm gonna test it out again. So let's see if my opinion on the Hyper G will change and who knows, maybe if I like this, maybe I'll go back and revisit the original Hyper G in a future review. So starting with the pros of the Solenko Hyper G round. This string played a lot better than I expected and to be honest, I'm rethinking my stance on original Hyper G. I may revisit that string in a future review, but anyway, the Hyper G round has a more muted and dampened feel compared to its flagship counterpart, the Tour Bite. It's been a minute since I last tried Hyper G, but the feel pretty much felt the same. From everything I've heard and read online, people like Hyper G for its control and spin, which leads to predictability. With the round version, Solinko took away a big aspect of that playability, which is spin. Now, the string still gets decent spin for a round string and it has a nice slippery coating leading to snapback, but this again begs the question as to why Solinko made a round version of a wildly popular shaped poly. If you know, please let me know in the comments because I'm curious. Regardless, the Hyper G provided great control on full swings, especially on my forehand ground strokes. The slightly muted feel meant I could stay on the gas and attack just about every ball without worry of losing control and my shot flying erratically. I noticed the launch angle on my forehand stayed nice and low over the net and I didn't really fear my shot going past the baseline. That said, I didn't notice the ball diving down onto the line like with Tour Bite and I didn't really force my opponent to hit shots off their back foot. For me, the Hyper G round felt more like a baseline grinder or pusher string where patience and consistent strokes would win points. Although Solenko Confidential is very popular for its predictability, the Hyper G round felt a lot more predictable for me because I felt I could rally from the baseline all day. But at the same time, I wasn't really going to hit passing shots with this string often. 
One thing I did notice is that although the feel of Hyper G original and the round version is dampened, if I struck the ball clean in the upper sweet spot, the string still gave me that satisfying pop sensation and I noticed my shot clearing the net without decelerating. The strings package describes the Hyper G round as a medium firm string and I definitely agree with this assessment. Aggressive players with healthy arms can use this fine but even if you have some arm sensitivity, I think the Hyper G round won't leave any permanent damage. I didn't feel any jarring sensations when I hit outside the sweet spot and I used it in my second gen pure strike which is stiffer than the current gen. The Hyper G round sits in that Goldilocks zone of being firm enough to provide good control and feedback but dampened enough to not send unwanted vibrations through the elbow. That muted but firm feel translated to decent touch at the net. Punch volleys lacked the pop that I get from Tour Bite but I could still put away high balls no problem. But when it came to my net play, the Hyper G round shined more on touch shots, drop shots, and precision volleys. The ball went pretty much exactly where I was aiming. Height control and drop shots is usually an area I struggle with in muted strings, but I didn't have that issue this time. The slice is where the Hyper G really came to life. I personally like round polys better on slices, which is a bit unusual. I'm interested to hear if my viewers agree or disagree on this, but personally when I hit slices, especially the backhand slice, the ball sits on the string slightly longer than a regular ground stroke because I'm pushing through the contact point and guiding the ball where I want it to go. Because of this, sharply shaped strings like original Hyper G and Tour Bite tend to displace and get stuck, which causes aggressive slices to float up a bit. But with round polys like this Hyper G round, I was able to hit low gliding slices that skim the top of the net and bounce below my opponent's knees. I hit some very satisfying slices and I could use them both offensively and defensively, disguising a slice to hit a drop shot was easy and my opponents never saw them coming. And in terms of tension and durability, I think the Hyper G round is great. There is an additional break in period with this string but not nearly as bad as the confidential which just felt like a board at the beginning. Once the string settled in nicely, the tension stayed the same through the duration of my playtest which lasted about 6 hours. I can't make a definitive claim on durability because I don't play with strings until they break, but Hyper G was known to snap fairly quickly. The round will most likely last longer and I think tension will start dropping off long before this string snaps. Lastly for the serves, I felt the Hyper G round was best on the slice and flat. The string has a decent amount of give where I could hit flat serves with decent pace. I was able to get the best of both worlds in that Hyper G round gave me the power of a soft poly but also the accuracy of a stiff poly. This is pretty rare and something I just don't have with Tour Bite. Any string that allows me to hit a consistent flat serve automatically makes it easier for me to win service games. By being able to rely on my flat serve, it adds an extra dimension to my serves and keeps my opponent guessing. The slice serve, just like regular slices, glided low over the net and I could drop it near the sideline. Slice serves into the body were also an effective weapon. The common issue I have with slice serves is that it has a lower trajectory than my kick and flat so I often dump it into the net. But the slight boost in power from the Hyper G round gave me easier net clearance and less double faulting. But unfortunately, it wasn't all smooth sailing on the serves which leads me into the cons. So let's talk about those cons with the Hyper G round. The biggest con I had was the lack of spin potential especially on my kick serve. This is the reason why I'm wondering why Solinko released a round version of a popular spin oriented string. Don't get me wrong, the spin potential is pretty decent especially for a round poly. If I was judging this string on its own merits, I'd say the spin potential is right up there with the Outlast which is one of my favorite round polys. But I'm comparing it to regular Hyper G and Tour Bite and the spin is decidedly lower. My kick serve suffered the most here. My pure strike has a tighter 16 main pattern so I noticed my kick serve just sitting up there and didn't have the movement I wanted. To compare, my kick serve when I tried the vocal V Torque Tour in the pure strike was insane. It's a good thing my flat and slice were working for me because I couldn't use my kick serve as a weapon. I simply focused on getting it deep into the corner. The spin potential on ground strokes is fine but I don't hit insane top spin on my ground strokes anyway. The Hyper G round is similar to Head Hawk Touch in a number of ways. They are both round polys with a muted feel but both get great control on full swings even without massive spin potential. I think the Hyper G round plays slightly livelier though. The muted feel is the second drawback to the Hyper G round. I know a lot of players prefer this because they can just wail on the ball and not worry that it will fly out but I want something more responsive. The dampened response did me no favors on my backhand. Since my two handed backhand is a slower swing than my forehand, I didn't impact the ball with enough force to really feel anything. My forehand swing has decent acceleration so I could feel the ball but I didn't really have a good sense of where I was hitting on my backhand. 
Also, I hit a lot of backhands into the net because the strings didn't give me much bounce. Where it got close to being a deal breaker though was on my finesse game. Soft touch shots like drop shots and angle volleys were fine, but the area I struggled with was my precision shots. For example, I had difficulty hitting my volleys into the gaps between my opponents, also lobs and dipping shots at my opponent's feet were hard for me to grasp. On shots like these, I feel crisper playing strings like Tour Bite perform better. I just have more confidence when I strike the ball with a crisper string. I'm not a power player so I have to rely on a crafty style to win points and the Hyper G round is not exactly tailored to my style. So this is about what I expected from the new Hyper G. I didn't love it but I didn't hate it. In fact, I actually quite liked it when I was rallying from the baseline which was a nice surprise. So now let's answer the question of who is the Solinko Hyper G round for? I believe this string is more for baseline grinders or players who have strong ground strokes and want something muted that will keep their shots inside the lines. I think this string is suited toward a player like Andy Murray who primarily focuses on using powerful, penetrating ground strokes to wear down opponents and force errors. For someone like me who is more of a servant volleyer slash crafty finesse player, this string just doesn't give enough feedback for those deceptive shots. If you want to hit winners past your opponent, this string has decent enough pop to do that but you might benefit from dropping the tension. So I was pleasantly surprised by the round Hyper G, I was never a fan of the original but this playtest has me wanting to give that original Hyper G another go. So what do you guys think of this new Hyper G? Have you tried it? Do you think Solinko should make a round version of Tour Bite? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Thanks for watching this review of the Solinko Hyper G round right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.